My name is Vivian Alabudi. I'm the Community Engagement Project Coordinator at the Community Relations Commission. I'm also the host for SBS Pop Arabi, which is an Arabic music channel on radio. And I'm also a writer and editor for interface.org.au, which is an alternative media source blog that falls under the program, uh, rather project that I'm doing at this time. Do you think that your role in SBS Arabic partially fills that niche? Definitely. <laughs> I'm a huge Arabic music fan, but um, I think there are a lot, it's a huge niche actually. There are a lot of young people that generally enjoy Arabic music, um, but don't speak the Arabic language. So giving them a program that plays the music, but then talks about the music in English um, is something that hasn't been done before. And it's, you know, it's really taking it's off. music again. So a few weeks ago, he became Australia's first politician to like, swear an oath on the Quran. And there has been a, I'm not so sure if it's surprising, but rather shocking reaction online there was a lot of online hate towards him how, how do you feel about that um i think it's ridiculous i mean he's muslim why would he take his oath on the bible um he would take it on the quran same similarly if he was you know if someone was jewish and being sworn in they would take it on the book they wouldn't take it on the bible or whatever their their belief is the hate is something that's very expected, unfortunately, especially from the online era. Um, it's very, very common. It's nothing surprising or shocking to me. I find that a lot of those people, and I read one of the comments was, this is only the start of Sharia in Australia. You know, ridiculous comments like that. He's, at the end of the day, he's a politician and he's doing his role. And he's a Muslim and he's come out and he's publicly said before that, you know, he's perhaps not as practicing as other Muslims. But he took his, you know, he took his oath on the Quran, and I don't think that there's an issue with that. We live in a multicultural, multi-faith society. We have the right to practice your religion um, as long as it doesn't interfere with any other Australian law. And as far as I'm concerned, it's fantastic. It's a great step for multiculturalism, for multi-faith in Australia. And those who are against it are simply ignorant and don't understand um, the significance that this milestone has had. So why do you personally choose to wear the veil? Um, for me, wearing the veil um, has never been a question of should I or shouldn't I. I grew up in a household where my mum wore it, where all my older sisters wore it, um, where my aunties wore it. So for me, it was something that was auto automatically assumed that I would wear it. When I did start wearing it, it was ironically two weeks before 9-11. And at that time, it was still kind of an on and off process. So I'd wear it to school, but during photo, ta photo day, I'd take it off and... You know, it was more experimenting and I knew that eventually I'd have to take the step. But I found rather than just wear it ignorantly without knowing its significance, without knowing what it means and its responsibilities, I studied about it more, I learned about it more. Um, and I found myself, you know, first year of high school, that was it. I, I was completely, you know, hung up on wearing it and making sure that I kept it on. And I have ever since. And alhamdulillah, I'm very, very thankful that, you know, I came to that realisation and that, um, I, I guess I learned about it.